Welcome back to Open House NYC. Now we're stopping by an historic home on an iconic block in the village. This Greek Revival style townhouse offers old world glamour with modern amenities. Inside this extraordinary light filled home, you'll notice stunning design elements throughout. Interior designer Fernando Santangelo takes us on a tour. Hi, I'm designer Fernando Santangelo and I want to welcome you to this beautiful townhouse in the West Village. This home was inspired by a 1930s Italian palazzo, which combines modern architecture with all world elements. Although it has a traditional exterior, it is anything but traditional inside. I began with the palazzo theme right here in the entryway, with the architecture and the materials. This includes the wood paneling, mirrors, and the Venetian terrazzo, all of which create an amusing and mysterious space that makes you feel like you're backstage or about to make a dramatic entrance. And a theatrical entrance it is. This mysterious hidden doorway brings you into this spectacular gallery which offers one of the best views in the home. It overlooks the double high living room and the beautiful gardens beyond. The gallery is the perfect arrival point for your guests when you're entertaining. Like the entryway, I wanted to make a design statement and did that with the fireplace, the custom table and the ceiling fixture. From the gallery you can head up to the master bedroom, but first we're going to head downstairs to the living room. The scale and proportion of this living room lent themselves very well for entertaining. I began with large slabs of marble for the flooring which extends into the private garden. The next focal point is the fireplace, so I added this huge mirror above it, across from an oversized English painting, which your eyes are naturally drawn to from the sitting area, once again adding its sense of amusement and drama. Believe it or not, my client wanted the arrangement of the furniture in the living room to feel like the lobby of a boutique hotel, which is a great place for a casual conversation. The carpet in the living room is a Faragon 19th century carpet. I did this because I wanted the whole space to feel continuous, and in a way, the garden to be part of the living room. Now let's head up to the master bedroom. The dark hues and coloration of the rest of the house carry into the master bedroom. I used a tufted padded leather for the headboard, cork tiles for the walls, and these modern Austrian lamps that create a soothing atmosphere. Since this is a bedroom, it was also important to me that the room was calm and quiet. So I used a plush wool carpet for the floors and linen velvet drapery, which helps absorb the noise of New York City. And equally relaxing is the spa-like master bathroom with its marble countertops and deep soaking tub. And if you're not quite ready for bed and you still want to get away from it all, you have a private studio on the fourth floor. Once again, I designed this space with comfort and style in mind. I mean, who wouldn't want to hang out and watch a movie on these silk velvet couches? Because this is a true West Village artist love, I wanted a creative mix of furniture from different periods. There's a Chinese lacquered coffee table, Moroccan side tables with Gothic revival lamps, as well as a Russian Empire chandelier. Overall, it has a cool bohemian feel. And there's one more place I need to show you. So finally, there's this cozy rooftop terrace, which is the perfect place to end our tour and complete this unique New York experience. Thanks for joining me.